focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to season two of the Changemakers on CNBC TV 18. I'm Ridhu Bhandari. This is our exclusive series that sheds light on the many social enterprises working tirelessly at the grassroots level in India's villages and bringing millions onto the path of development and dignity through their groundbreaking initiatives. The impact of our first change maker today is described by Nobel laureates Abhijit Banerjee and Esther Duflo in their book, Poor Economics, as, and I quote, almost overnight and for years into the future, the number of severe diarrhea cases falls by one half and the number of malaria cases falls by one third, unquote. And the man at the center of this sweeping impact is Joe Madiath, who through his organization Gram Vikas has worked tirelessly for the last four decades to bring sanitation, safe water, and equitability to over six lakh people in the remote and underdeveloped areas of Odisha and Jharkhand. Let's take a look at this inspiring story of bringing dignity to millions through positive change. Working with rural poor and tribal communities in Odisha and Jharkhand since 1979, Gram Vikas is a rural development organization that uses collective action for community gains on key issues related to water, livelihood, sanitation and hygiene, habitat and technologies, education and mitigating effects of natural disasters. Over the last four decades, Gram Vikas's efforts in promoting and building a socially inclusive, gender equitable and sustainable society has impacted over 6 lakh people in 1700 villages across 27 districts of Odisha and Jharkhand. Gram Vikas has been working in several areas. In 1979, when we started here to work, our initial work was with the Adivasis of this area, the tribal people of this area, where we helped them to regain their land and assets which they had lost to moneylenders and liquor merchants and uh, landlords. One of Gram Vikas's most well-known efforts have been towards addressing the problem of water scarcity and exclusion. Through an integrated water and sanitation model, Gram Vikas has motivated communities to adopt safe sanitation and hygiene behavior, thereby reducing incidences of waterborne diseases and lowering malnutrition rates. In every village that we work, Gram Vikas takes up a program to see that Every family has got a toilet and a bathing room and three taps. One tap each in the bathing room, toilet and in the kitchen. This is a huge initiative. And then in these villages also water is provided round the clock so that nobody has to take more than 10 to 15 steps to get their water. The on-ground impact of Gram Vikas's efforts can be seen on the lives of women like Sushila Manika, who no longer have to defecate in open and walk miles daily carrying water on her head. Earlier we used to have spring water and used to suffer from fever, headache and malaria. Then Gram Vikas came to our rescue and helped us to have latrine, bathroom and clean drinking water. We are now using that water and now everything is fine and now we don't fall sick. We used to go out to bath, but now with the help of Gram Vikas, we have access to such things at home only. This is a huge benefit for our kids as well. Entering its fifth decade of bringing change at the grassroots level in 2019, Gram Vikas has embarked upon a strategic program called Water Secure Gram Panchayats that aims to make villages completely water secure over the next decade. Gram Vikas uh, completed four decades a year ago 
and looking at what we've achieved with our partner communities in Odisha over the last four decades, we realized that a large contribution had been made in bringing access to safe drinking water and safe sanitation to a large number of rural communities. A number of problems were also identified. And we realized the sustainability of the results that we've been able to achieve with our partner communities lies in making water a more secure and sustainable resource available to rural communities, men, women, children, farmers, households, on a continuous basis to fulfill all demands that they have. We also realize that Gram Panchayats, the elected local governments, increasingly were becoming critical, crucial actors in local development. There is greater amount of devolution happening of powers and finances to the Gram Panchayats and the only way to strengthen local governance is by creating citizens' demand and citizens' capabilities to converge with and participate in local governance processes. And we decided that these two elements need to come together, the water security aspect and how citizens are able to engage with local governance and local development and influence local resource mobilization and deployment decisions at their own level. The Water Secure Gram Panchayat has been designed to achieve these two key objectives. First, we cleared the mountains in 1997. Then we planted one lakh plus saplings, which grew into trees. Because of this, there is now enough water in the village pond. We use this to cultivate vegetables and paddy. Our village gets water throughout the year. Gram Vikas has set itself the ambitious target of making 1,000 Gram Panchayats in Odisha water secure by 2028. On that hopeful note, let's head into a short break right now. But on the other side, we bring you the story of a change maker whose work in bridging the digital gap in education is more relevant than ever now during the current pandemic. Stay with us. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. 